I'll show you now on scope what I get at the output of the sequencer. What we hear is just the CV out huh, of the sequencer. This is what we hear at the output. Because the sequencer is oscillating. Okay, so now we are here in the sequencer. Huh? You see one step, two step, three step oscillations. And here I can set the waveform, I can change it if I want. You see I'm increasing this first step, the last step. You see what it does, huh? it's like, like shaping the envelope as the, the waveform. Huh? And here I'm only on three steps. I can make it brighter, as I said earlier. You see, you're adding some peaks. I'm going to speed down. Not brighter. So you get the picture, huh? So tooth, triangle, output going into the step, CV step from sequencer, sine wave, I'm gonna animate it.
I can play with this signal, send it instead of sending it directly to the mixer, I could send it to filter, etc. etc. If I take the high pass output. Low pass won't do much, but you see, there is a lot to do, huh? Like this, choosing the range here. making a sine wave out of it Okay, I'm gonna do something. We could imagine also modulating this here, you know, the brightness. So in order to do this, I, I would not go into the CV directly, but into a VCA. Let's try output VC and now an LFO here. Now I can modulate it, okay. Um, and I can also animate it. Here I'm animating the brightness because I go from the output of the oscillator to a VCA modulated by an LFO and I send it in the CV mixer we saw that is going into the CV step of the sequencer. Huh? But then I'm also modulating the movement here, this movement from left to right it's the amount of voltage going here into via an LFO and I'm also sending this, sending this the output, the CV out of the sequencer, what we hear. I'm sending it to a filter before I send it to what we hear now, to the mixer. So, I'm mod and I'm modulating the, the frequency of the filter. This is what we hear now.
Making high pass.